Hi, I'm Paul, and I am not a gold bug. Silver loses to inflation. Stackers duped. And bullion dealers in shills laugh all the way to the bank. The silver market in 2023 went pretty much like I called it again. Ugh. The agony of being canceled by the silver community, which desperately needs the truth, but is only getting lies and worse from the experts and the influencers. Let's talk about 2023 and why things didn't turn out as expected for nearly all people. That's right. I've got nine quick points to make today, so let's just get right into it with point number one. What did silver have going for it in 2023? Hmm. Well, let me just mention a few quick things. Like, first of all, Silicon Valley Bank, SVB, the greatest financial crisis of all times was hitting in 2023. Oh my gosh, this is it, the mother of all banking crises. I called SVB as a nothing burger. Oh, half dollar, you don't get it. You don't get it, half dollar. It was a nothing burger. Because the Fed and the federal government bails out who they want and what they want, Period. They let fail what they want to fail. They save what they want to save. They fund what they want to fund. And they don't want... And they don't fund what they don't want to fund. Come on now, people. Really? Shame on all of the people who were talking about the banking crisis of 2023. Bunch of fakes, frauds, phonies, and worse is what you are. Those people who said that thing. Those things. What about war breaking out everywhere? Yeah, blow stuff up and kill people. That's the way to stimulate economic activity and cleanse the world of all the vileness. What disgusting thoughts people had when it comes to all these wars. Talked about that too. People were talking about how it was going to be good for silver. You guys should be ashamed of yourselves. Seriously. Disgusting. Vile. What about the Fed pausing? Did the Fed even pause? I don't know because I don't even know what interest rates are right now. And I don't care. And I don't follow the Fed anymore. And if you follow the Fed, you are wasting your time. Well, you don't get a half dollar. Big businesses move up from the tiniest movement. And then... Blah, 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 blah. Silver was going too dumb. It's what everybody was saying. Now, point number two. And so had everything going for it. I just named three things. Point number two. I made a video called Silver is Not an Inflation Hedge or something like that. People missed the technical point of that video because there are two points in that video. The technical point is that silver is not an inflation hedge because people don't understand money. That's why they missed the technicality of it. So in technical in in a technical in a technical sense, silver is not an inflation hedge. And in reality, silver is not an inflation hedge. Now, if you miss the technical point, right? The technicality, the theoretical, right? then go watch that video enough times until you need to understand it. But if you got the theoretical and you missed the reality, well, I made multiple videos this year talking about showing real-world examples about how silver has not been an inflation hedge for 60-some years. Because the comments to that video got me having to do example after example to defend myself because people don't get it. They don't get it. I gave a specific example of silver reversing the price of a house since 1964. Extensive video. Go watch it. I gave the example of silver versus a cup of coffee. Lots of things. You see, this is point number three. It's like pregnancy, right? You're either pregnant or you're not pregnant. So silver either has kept up with inflation or it hasn't. Because you can nitpick all you want. You can nitpick all you want, but in the end, silver has not kept up with the price of inflation for many, many, many decades. And furthermore, 
Silver has not kept up with inflation in 2023. As a matter of fact, silver lost to inflation. We'll get into that in a second. But point number four, just to reiterate, most people thought silver was going to the moon. To the moon. Once again, I was right. I was right. Go watch my first of the year video, second of the year, whenever it was. I think it was January 1st. When I came out with my forecasts and predictions, even though I hate the word prediction. I don't hate many things, but I hate some words. And the word prediction is one of the things that I hate. But, yeah. Everybody's talking about to the moon. I didn't agree with that. Go watch that video. I was right. And no matter how you look at it, point number five. No matter what chart platform you use, what price you use, silver is down on the year. Okay? Silver is down. The price is down. It's slightly down on the year. Don't say silver price was flat in 2023. Shame on you if you say that. Don't say the silver price is unch. It's unch half dollar. It's unch. Ooh, I'm a trader. It's unch. It's unch. Which means unchanged. The hipsters like to say. No, silver wasn't unched. Silver was down on the year. Oh, by pennies. Yeah, by pennies. Silver was down. So silver has proven not to be an inflation hedge. If you want to argue with me, in 2023, for several decades and in this year. Does saying silver was down versus silver was flat matter? Yes, it does. It does matter. Here's why. Let's take an example of meat. That's right. We're going to talk about meat. Now, on this hand, we're going to have to play make-believe. Because that's what other people do. They play make-believe. So here's a McNugget. This is a McNugget from McDonald's in my hand. Mm. Oh, it smells so good. It's a chicken McNugget. Oh, now it was handled properly, stored properly. It's just been freshly fried. And it's one chicken McNugget from McDonald's. I'm going to eat it real quick. Mmm. Now, you might not like YouTubers who eat in front of the camera and gorge their faces, and I'm sorry for doing that, but we just got to bear with me, folks. That McNugget was delicious. It was fresh. And it's like unched. I'm unched, right? It's not really going to hurt me. It's not really going to help me, but it's kind of unched, okay? Now, in this hand, now, in this hand right here, I got some spoiled beef. Now, oh, I don't know if you can smell that. That is putrid. That is rotten. Oh, it almost fell off because it's so slimy. See, it's so slimy and it's got like maggots crawling on it and stuff like that. So that's that. That's some spoiled beef right there. Oh, oh, that was disgusting. I'm sure I'm going to get sick later from that. And you see, that's the difference, right? That's the difference between down and unchanged. You don't want to eat that spoiled beef, right? That'll bring you down. That one McDonald's chicken McNugget, whatever, unchanged. So, yeah, it matters. It matters. The silver price was down in 2023, people. Furthermore, to compare it to inflation, point number six, year over year, well, now you all know what I think about government statistics and any statistics for that matter. From the Fed or the government or whatever, nonprofits, people with ulterior motives. But year over year through November, because the December number isn't out yet, it doesn't come out until January. So we got to use the November number, but year over year, CPI was up 3.1% according to the BLS, the Bureau of Labor Statistics. So silver was down in price and inflation was up 3.1%, all items. So, point number seven, yeah, silver, so to recap the first six points in these nine minutes, wow, silver lost to inflation. Inflation beat silver. Silver was not an inflation hedge. Silver was a loser. Now, I'm a stacker. I love silver. I don't like this coin. This coin makes me want to throw up in my mouth. Excuse me, that was very gross. I don't remember what this coin is called. 
It's very vile. It's one of those disgusting online gold and silver bullion dealers. Somebody let me know what this tree is called. This tree. It's got a tree on it, which is why I said tree. I think it's called the, the tree of lies. The tree of lies is what this coin is called. It's a disgusting coin. It's got effigy of Her Majesty on the back, which is actually the obverse, right? It's a bunch of sellouts. People sell out to get a stamp so it's an official coin. And then they enable the beast by selling out. Go figure, folks. That's a rant in the side tangent. Not going to go there because I got to go on to point eight. Am I on point eight? No, I think I'm on point seven. So on point number seven, stackers got duped in 2023. How many times did stackers get duped in 2023? Lots of times, folks. If you bought silver as a speculation, whereas an investment, you lost in 2023. So, I mean, what do I say? Silver is not an investment. Silver is not speculation. I mean, in a sense of a foreign currency play, I guess, if you want to get technical about it. But silver is just money. That's what silver is. It's money. So, you know, bullion dealers duped stackers again through their shills. Good job. Good job, bullion dealers. Pay yourself on the back. Good job. <laughs> on March 8th, 2023, I think the silver price was bottoming something like that. Somewhere around $20. I don't think we went into the teens, but somewhere around $20. Atmex had silver eagles. Random year. I'll link this from archive.org. Atmex had Silver Eagles for as low as $30.79. So that's pretty interesting. So the price of silver was going down. Premium went up. Because right now, late December, the last weekend of 2023, Atmex has lowest price of the year advertised on random year Silver Eagles, or maybe 2023 Silver Eagles. Random year as low as $30.50. 2023 as low as $28 for a 2023 Silver Eagle. So, like, my point there is, what was my point? Oh, yeah. It's not $20 spot price. It's over $24. See how this works? See how this works? Stackers get duped. Bullion dealers laugh all the way to the bank. The shills are laughing all the way to the bank. The affiliates, the experts. On May 4th, I imagine, now I was on my second job in May 4th and doing underground utility locating and I wasn't really doing YouTube, I don't think, in the May. I came back, if y'all remember, or if anyone who's been sticking through this channel from the very beginning, thank you very much. Subscribe to my channel. Like this video. Share this video. Please help my channel grow. Please. Because, oh, half dollars of victim of cancel culture, and I need your help. Thanks. So, May 4th, 2023, silver price was over $26. Over $26. Now, also on archive.org, which is interesting, I'll link this page too. I guess Atmex was all about the hype train. So they were selling random year silver eagles for as low as $45.08. Can you believe that? So they're just robbing people left and not robbing. They're just like figuratively speaking, right? They're making out like bandits. You ever heard that expression? Making out like bandits. They're laughing all the way to the bank. That's the expression. So I'm sure the hype train was hard when the price was over 25 and over 26, as it always is. Right? So, and that was on sale. That was on sale. That webpage on archive.org with those $45 silver eagles as low as when the price was $26, the spot price was $26, and one silver eagle was over $45, that was on sale. Go look at the archive.org website. You need to go play around with archive.org if you haven't already. Although it's not the be-all, end-all. And it does suffer from the same problems of Wikipedia. Not going to go there right now, but I will go to another point. Right now, right now, as in right now, last weekend of 2023, JM Bullion has a sell-to-us price. 
you can see the prices jam bullion. Now, I'm, not, I'm just talking about these specific dealers or whatever because it's convenient, right? These are just whatever. Bullion dealers don't like a half dollar. But JM Bullion, on their website, they have a sell to us price. So you can look at random one ounce silver rounds. Guess what? They're paying $22.74. Now, I'm not sure. I've never sold silver to JM Bullion. I don't know if that's like based off of 100 I don't think you can sell them just one, right? It's not worth their time and their effort to sell JM Bullion just one silver round. So I'm pretty sure. Someone correct me in the comments below what the minimum is to get that price. But JM Bullion is paying $22.74 per ounce generic silver. So think about that. Think about that. Less than spot price. Where's all this massive demand that these shills... And these phony bullion dealers, I mean, they may be real bullion dealers with their local coin shops. What they talk about is lies at best and worse stuff at worse, right? Like they're wiping me out of my inventory. I can't keep up. Oh, yeah. Jam Bullion's not even paying spot price for generic right now. Yeah, so massive demand out there. What about Silver Eagles? JM Bullion is playing $25.49 for random years and $24.49 for call. Think about that. Think about that. Now, this coin, because I've written all over it and I got my fingerprints all over it. I don't know if you look at my older videos where I've drawn on this coin a couple times. It's silver, folks. It's one ounce of silver. They'd probably consider this coin call. But that's the thing, right? Be careful with this. You want to learn a quick bullion dealer trick? Here's a quick bullion dealer trick. Here's what bullion dealers can do and do. Right, so you got a bunch of silver eagles. Oh, Jam Bullion's paying twenty five forty nine. Hey, yo, Jam Bullion, I got hundred silver eagles. Okay, cool. Head and send them to us. We're gonna pay you twenty dollars forty nine cents. Fast forward week, whatever, two weeks, whatever. They get their silver eagles from you, um, sir, Mister Half Dollar. We've received the silver eagles. Thank you very much for that. We know we were saying we were paying twenty five dollars and forty nine cents for these silver eagles, but these silver eagles, in our opinion, are cull. Okay, they are call silver eagles. So they're just not quite good enough. They got a little bit of toning. They got a little bit of tarnishing. They got a little smudging. It's got some like marker writing on here. So we're just going to pay you the call price for these. So, you know, what do you want to do? You want to pay to get them shipped back to you? And or you just want to accept our call price. See, that can happen too. Don't think it can't and won't. And doesn't. Then what does JM Bullion do? Well, now I'm not saying this is happening at JM Bullion. I'm just saying what can and does happen so you can take that coin with the smudges on it or with the toning or with the tarnishing or whatever. Then you can use a product called Easiest Coin Cleaner. Oh, yeah, it's easy. As a matter of fact, it's the easiest. Just dunk it in there. And a couple seconds, boom, rinse it off. Hey, got BU, baby. So I just bought your call and I just dipped them in the magical solvent, the magical cleanser. And now I'm telling them BU. So I've triple dipped. Because I bought when the price was down. Because I don't buy into the hype train. I sell into the hype train. And I buy into the fear. See how that works? So they're triple dipping. In addition to dipping the actual coin itself. So they're buying on the low. They're paying less because they could consider a coin a different condition than what is stated. They don't know until they get it in the hand and when they have the coin in their hand, balls in their court, is it not? And then they're playing the premium swing game. The premium swing game. So they're, they're, they're getting three different types of profit there. See how just the stackers get duped on this stuff all the time? See the uphill battles that I face? So, yeah. You could get your Silver Eagles downgraded to cull get less money for it on a price drop on silver. And, you know, it's like when the spot price is low, they can raise premiums or hold them steady. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Either way, the bullion does win. When the spot price is high and there's a lot of hype behind it, oh, this is it, this is it. We're over 25. We're going to 26. Now we're going to 28. Now we're going to 30. Blah, 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 blah. Start jacking up that spot, that, that premium, the premium. Because FOMO is a force, right? I made a video on this not too long ago. The fear of missing out. Don't fall for it. Don't fall for the FOMO. I said that, I think, around the end of November. 
when silver was again either approaching or maybe it breached 26. I don't know. But that's the point. That's point number eight. No matter what happens, the bullion dealers are laughing at you all the way to the bank. Just like sleazy car salesmen. They're laughing at you all the way to the bank. They buy into the fear. They sell into the hype. They got the premiums to play with. So that they can reap even more profits at the stacker's expense. And this doesn't even get into bullion dealer hedging strategies, right? Which could be a lot of different hedging strategies, right? Buying Going long futures contracts, shorting futures contracts, locking in pre-orders, cancellation policies, simply outright shutting down sales when everybody and their brother knows there's going to be a gap up in price, right? These things can and do happen. The bullion dealers, and especially the online gold and silver bullion dealers, are vile. They're full of liars, cheaters, and thieves. They are. I know many of them. So, ha, 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 joke's on you, stacker. Thanks for buying all that silver this year and then losing on your purchase. Point number nine. The overall point. The overall point. The so-called advocates out there are really nothing more than fakes, frauds, phonies, and worse. They are. And it's the gold advocates, too. The gold and silver advocates. Because, oh, got a cough. <clears throat> because the person who needs truthful, helpful information that stimulates critical thinking, they don't get it. They don't get it. And furthermore, cancel culture is alive and well. Just ask your favorite advocate or your favorite expert or influencer about old half dollar. You'll see cancel culture is alive and well. Crickets. Crickets. Remember when Sal over at Salivate Metal? I mentioned this before. He said it in his public comments section. I'm trying to get you and Andy. He's had Andy on. I've gone back and forth with Andy a couple times now. And guess what? Crickets. Crickets from Andy. Nothing. So, cancel culture is alive and well. These people are fakes, frauds, phonies, and worse. The experts and the influencers, the experts and the influencers on YouTube are not your friends, right? Much less are they advocates. What they are is manipulation enablers in silver advocates' clothing. And since arguably money Silver, gold and silver, silver, money. Since money is the most important human tool, it's beyond vile what these people are doing. Because not only are they not teaching humanity about the tool, but when they're speaking about it, they're giving out wrong information. They're giving out bad information at best. Or they're lying and beyond at worst. 2023 didn't go like you thought it was going to go. It went how I thought it was going to go. Next week, I'm going to talk about 2024. But this week, we're talking about 2023. That's all I got for you today. Thank you for your time.